Hi there, and welcome to another video of measureschool.com, where we teach you the data-driven way of digital marketing. My name is Julian, and today I wanna show you how you can tag your marketing campaigns with UTM tags to help Google Analytics recognize where your user came from and fill your acquisition reports with the right data. Now let's start with a little test here. I've just sent an email newsletter to myself with two links in them to our demo shop. And what I wanna find out is if I click on one of these links and enter the website, what does Google Analytics think where I just came from? Let's click on this first link and we enter our demo shop and we can go into our Google Analytics to the master profile here and click under the real-time reporting on traffic sources and we see that there was just a page view on our page and Google Analytics says that we came from the medium none and the source direct also known as direct none in our report that will port over to the acquisition and under all traffic you would also see this as direct none right here. From experience you probably know that this column has a lot of people mostly coming through your website. And it's also referred as that traffic because we don't know where the user exactly came from. In this case, he came from our email newsletter, but, but Google Analytics doesn't attribute that to the right source. Now let's do another test. Let's first delete our cookies and click on this second link of our demo shop. It looks the same. And when we click on it, we also enter the page. Now let's go back to our real-time reporting and click on traffic sources. And we see there's a new page view, but this time it was generated by the medium email and the source Gmail. So what is the difference here? Well, when we go back to the page that we just opened, we see that there is a difference in the URL that the browser loaded. So if you go back to the other email, this here is plain and there's nothing in the back. And here we have some stuff that we will talk about in a second. But really the difference here is just the end of the URL and otherwise the page doesn't really change. So it's exactly the same page, only this page has a tail on the URL. So what is this tail? Let's inspect it a little further. You probably have seen the question mark around URLs on other websites. Sometimes they communicate with the server and the content actually changes, but in our case, the content doesn't change. And that's because these parameters that we see here in the back are specifically designed to communicate with Google Analytics. And the whole tail is called a query string. And the query string consists of different key value pairs, which are parameters. So let's take a closer look. We see first a UTM source parameter, which equals Gmail. This is our first parameter and parameters are separated by the end sign. Then we have our second parameter and our third parameter. Now these parameters, if you already noticed from our real time reporting, don't port over the first part, but rather only the second part here, the Gmail, the email, and the newsletter. Why is that? Because they're separated in key value pairs. We have the first key is UTM source, and it holds the value Gmail. Then we have UTM medium, holds the value email, and the UTM campaign parameter holds the value newsletter. And these correspond again to the values that we see here under medium and source. And if you even click on email, we would also see the campaign right here. So what do the UTM parameters here in the back do? They signalize to Google Analytics once we land on the page. So this is the landing page and the first page of our session that Google Analytics shouldn't take the default of direct none, but rather rewrite that into the medium email and the source Gmail with the campaign newsletter. So this parameter can be used to explicitly tell Google Analytics the user that just entered the page 
came from the source of our newsletter. For the user, it doesn't really make a difference, but for Google Analytics, we'll have a different attribution that will also be filled in to our acquisition report under source medium. And that is hugely valuable. We can then see how many people entered through our specific link with our tagging. And if you have the goal or the e-commerce tracking set up correctly, you would also see how many people bought or reached your goal. So you can determine the effectiveness of the given link or the given channel that you tagged in your emails, your banner campaigns, or even offline campaigns. But keep in mind, you always need to send the user to a link that has UTM parameters attached in the query string. Now it might be a little bit cumbersome to always go through these parameters and try not to make any mistakes. So we have a little tool for you that you can access at measureschool.com slash UTM tool, which will give you access to this spreadsheet. You simply need to click on file up here and make a copy. And that way you'll be able to copy it to your Google account and be able to edit it. And with this tool, you can easily generate your ready-made tagged URL that you can copy into your marketing tool. All you need to do is input a landing page URL and then the medium. And we also have a feature here where you can choose your medium as a suggestion, input your source, your campaign, and then optionally campaign content and campaign term, which is mostly used for PPC campaigns and outcomes your ready tagged URL with the UTM tags attached, which you can simply copy and then go over to your email marketing tool and tag your URL normally by attaching the link to the text with your inputted UTM tags. Now, if you want to have a example other than the email campaigns, we have an example tab here where I have made up some different campaign examples, such as Facebook ad, Bing search ads, or ad role retargeting, which you can use as templates for your campaign. So if you want to check that out, head over to measureschool.com slash UTM tool. Great. So now you know how to tag your incoming links with UTM tags for effective campaign measurement. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up or subscribe to our channel because we'll bring you new videos every week. My name is Julian. Till next time.